Uh. Oh, the camera's on. The camera's been on the whole time, huh? Hello. Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. <coughs> Sorry, my throat, um, I am bad, I may be sounding ill then for a second. Yeah, welcome to this week's What I've Been Playing, What I've Been Watching, What I've Been uh, Reading, Bambinos. Um, I don't think I did one last week, I don't think I have anyway, so apologies about that. Uh, yeah, so this will be what I've been up to for the last two weeks then. Uh, I've been ill, I've been mentally ill and I've been had a cold so I've been really run down okay so um it's had an impact on uh, on my gaming and my reading and what I've been watching you know so they are big parts of my life my reading my watching and my gaming so I really enjoy these videos as well okay so I am going on holiday tomorrow uh, as of when I'm filming this video, I'm probably gonna put this video up. Will be up either Monday or Tuesday. So I'm doing. A, I don't want to just do a load of videos and then upload them all and bombard you guys. Uh, so I like to spread them out, you know. So I don't want you to go on YouTube and it's like Tony's up uploaded 19 videos. What the fuck? And subscribe. <laughs> so if you are, by the way, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, yeah, thank you very much to that one person just hadouken to that subscribe button. <coughs> so, uh, update my dog Max. So, sorry, my mum's dog, he's my, my boy as well. My dog Rossi's fine. Um, he hasn't been ill. Uh, he did have a diarrhea shit everywhere on Friday, but um, don't want to go into that. Literally, don't want to go into that. Uh, so, my mum's dog, he's doing a lot better. He had a really nasty fit. He's got some health complications and he had a big fit and scared us. He's only four, bless him. But uh, yes, yeah, so I haven't seen him for a couple of days. Uh, my nan is still in hospital and because I've been ill, I haven't been able to go and see her. So I still haven't seen her since uh, Christmas or before Christmas. But uh, she's doing a lot better now anyway. Um, yeah, so getting into the video, thank you as well. I have done a video thanking everyone, but thank you everyone that's uh, sent or commented. I really appreciate every comment, even the nasty ones. I don't get many nasty ones. I got quite a good community growing, a nice positive vibes only community. Uh, thanks again, everyone that's uh, commenting. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, thank you very, very much. So what have I been playing? I've finished my playthrough of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I think if you watched the last episode of what I've been playing, watching, reading, I'd said I'd finished. I always get this problem, right? I love this game. I enjoyed this as much as my first playthrough, but what was different with this playthrough, yes, I knew what I was doing, but I'd had the season pass, or whatever it's called. The, uh, yeah, I think it's called season pass. Uh, so I thoroughly enjoyed that. I definitely recommend this game. If you like uh, military style shooters or military simulation games, I don't know how realistic it is because uh, I'm not a Marine. I might surprise you, I'm not actually SAS or a Marine, you know what I mean? Uh, that, that rhymes. Uh, yeah, so I always get this problem where I play a game and then I don't know. I struggle to find another really good game that uh, holds my imagination. So I've been playing quite a few games uh, and some of them have been like in between games but I found a boot of a game, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm almost, I know I'm going to miss this game because I'm not taking my PlayStation 5 on holidays with me, I'm doing all my handhelds, I'm going to have a lot of love. I'm taking my Vita, my PSP and my 3DS, are all coming on holidays. Um, so as of the time this video will be up, I will be on my holidays enjoying. Uh, I just need to find the chargers. I haven't packed anything yet. I'll probably do it tomorrow morning, the morning before I go. It takes 20 minutes to get ready to go on holiday. So, um, I've played, what have I played then? So I played digital. I'm really enjoying Contra, the Contra collection. I paid 3 for that. I don't know how much it normally goes for. I think, 
I think it's normally fifteen ninety nine, or it might be seven ninety nine. I can't remember. I know I had it in a in a sale, but I the one standout game in there is either Pro Protector or uh, it's known as Contra Three Alien Wars in the US. We over the side of the pond, we it was called Pro Protector. So I'm playing that, really enjoying that, really really enjoying that. Uh, it's one of those games I'm thinking about getting into speed running. I'm just you know taking my time. Just figuring out, um, I'm at the level now where I'm watching where the bullets, oh there's a guy here you need to duck here because that thing comes out of the floor. I'm just, maybe, I'm just getting better at the game, you know, I'm playing over and over and over again, you know, uh, just just brushing up my skills on it, you know, so I'm really enjoying that, but it's not enough to keep me entertained after a big game like that. Uh, I've played Contra probably four or five times in the last four or five days so just one playthrough one go then i move on to the other game i've been playing right uh the The other digital game I've been playing is Resogun. I always play Resogun when I finish a big game. It is my go-to when I'm in between games. So if I'm not sure and I'm thinking, sometimes what I do, I go to my collection, I pull out about four or five games and I feel right on my backlog. And while I'm thinking, I like to play Resogun, while I'm thinking of what game uh, I want to play next. Uh, but it's such an amazing game. It was, I think it was a launch title on the PlayStation 4. And if you haven't played it, guys, go out and check it out. I think it's only on the PlayStation Store. But, um, yeah, go check it out. I've had a ton of fun playing that game. Yeah, that's such a good game, Resogun. I'm a big, big fan of that. Um, because of my mental health, I uh, it's, it's just been a tough week. Maybe my, physically I've been run down because my mental health, when it's bad, I cannot sleep. I've been surviving on two hours sleep a night. So Sunday night, I don't think I slept. Monday night, I think I had an hour. Then I must have had three hours. But um, as I've got better, I mean, like yesterday we went, uh, again, as a film in this video, it's a Sunday. Uh, yesterday I went on a stag do, uh, shout out Lloyd, and uh, we went paintballing, and I'd slept like a baby the night before. I uh, went paintballing, had a nap for about four hours in the afternoon when I got home, and then slept really well again last night. So uh, it's definitely connected. When I'm feeling better, I tend to sleep better. And then if you don't sleep, you don't tend to feel good. It's a vicious cycle, you know. So unfortunately, I haven't done Tech on Tuesday, so I apologise. I didn't do Friday Night Fights, I apologise. And I didn't do SNK Sunday this morning, I apologise. I'm doing that with my hands, okay. Um, but, right, what have I been playing then? I've played, I just... Get into it then. So I played Mighty Number no. Nine. I haven't got any footage of this. I played the first level. I paid five pound for this as well, by the way. Uh, I know there was a stink with this game, and I gotta say I'm not impressed with it at all. It it's hard. It looks like a cheap game. There's nothing wrong with the graphics because it's meant to be a Mega Man kind of game. But it and the controls are tight. I don't know what it is. It just feels like a cheap game very repetitive with the enemy excuse me with the enemies and stuff like that 
Um, so I wasn't impressed. If I backed a, a Kickstarter, a GoFundMe or whatever, one of those things, followed the progress and the big Mega Man guy was meant to be making it and that's what they came out with. I It didn't hold my interest. I got probably... He, I think I did the first level or got to the boss or something like that and thought, nah, take it out next kind of thing. It took longer to install than I actually played with it, okay? So there's uh, Mighty Number no. 9. I probably, I probably will trade it in. I think when I bought it, I did notice when I was doing my price check on CEX website, uh, it was £5 and I think I can get £3 trade in. So that's pretty good. So I've only <laughs> I've had two pounds worth. I'm only losing two quid, you know. And uh, so I'd be gutted if I paid at that digital and paid it whatever I paid for it. You know, I'd be a complete waste of money. Let me tell you. Another game I put in um, Red Faction Guerrilla, and I started playing it. Great. I was like, why did I stop playing this? Obviously, I've got it on the PlayStation Three as well. And then very quickly, I remembered why I stopped playing it. Uh, it's not very good. <laughs> it's very satisfying knocking the buildings down. So if you didn't, if you've never played it, um, you've got this massive hammer. You can probably see there, and you've got a, a big part of the game is knocking down buildings or destroying the enemy's company property. So you'll and it'll tell you percent. So it's like you'll smash away into the building. Then you gotta like take out the structure and it just all topples down it is really satisfying and it's it's so much fun you're like why did i stop playing this and then i did a driving mission where you have to like run plow down all these like windmill things on mars and then the amount of enemies that were spawning it was crazy where it was broken and unplayable and i was like yeah i'm not gonna play this it kept me entertained for about two, maybe three hours, i got to be honest. So, <laughs> but yeah, it, they haven't. Um, I thought they might have improved the how broken it is, but no, they haven't, you know. So it's not the best Red Faction. Uh, I don't think it's the favourite either. I don't know much about them, but I, I remember one of them. I think it came out on the PlayStation 2. That was uh, felt a lot better than this one anyway. Right, another game uh, I played. I did enjoy it, but I've made a bit of this week. I've made or the last two weeks since the last one of these videos i've made a discovery with games okay and it's going to change the way i play games going forward okay so the game i've been playing was star ocean on the playstation 4 so it's star ocean integrity and faithlessness it's a funny name for a game isn't it i think this is the first star ocean game i played i've got a couple i think i've got one on the PS3, and I think I've got one on the PlayStation 2. I might have played the PlayStation 2 one, I think. Um, and after buying it, it didn't cost me a lot of money, but after buying it, I wanted to know more about it. And it was one of those games when I was playing Resogun, what shall I play? What shall I play? And then I thought, I play Star Wars, and I was in the mood for like an RPG. I wanted to go on an adventure to try with my mental health. I, went, I needed to go somewhere else mentally, you know. I, like, I really like the look of it, right? And for something told me to not watch YouTube, not watch a movie, just to listen to the music. I'm not saying it's got a great soundtrack or anything, but the way I've been playing RPGs is literally reading the subtitles whilst I got something else going on in the background, like another YouTube video. So I'm watching this, I'm not really giving the game the attention it deserves. So then I was like, I did once put a video on on YouTube. I was watching that. I thought, no, turn that off. And I was in the game, right? Uh, this game, I got, there's a major fault with the game, right? But I, it kept me entertained. I was so happy playing it for a good 10 hours. And then I realised, this is crap. This game is crap. But I'm grateful. Something told me to turn the, everything off. I just listen to the game. I haven't been listening to a game since the Xbox days. Since since I've had an iPad, I'd say. So maybe the Xbox 360, PS3. When I had a PlayStation 4 then, I always... Since I had an, I owned an iPad and was into YouTube, I'd always have a video going. So I haven't watched as much YouTube, but I've really got back into the... It's like a, a third of the game. I was disrespecting. Like, they got composers and stuff, haven't they? 
uh, writing this music and the soundtrack, this the sound effects and everything like that. Hope I'm not rambling too much and make some kind of sense. But um, yeah, so thanks to Star Ocean, uh, I've rediscovered a big part of the love I had for video games that I haven't had for years. Okay, and the big thing that's wrong with this game, I like the story. It's very basic. The controls very basic. It's a stunning looking world, okay? But as the whole point for me, or one of the major things, most satisfying things when it comes to, um, oh, my microphone's all right. Uh, when it comes to an RPG is when you level up and you keep leveling up. So you're in the ground, you get to a hard boss and you're like, oh, I'm not quite strong enough. I'll go somewhere else and I'll farm or level up, whatever phrase you use, okay? And then go back or go back to an earlier stage or earlier level and you can just one hit kill everyone but in this game all the enemies are leveling up as well so there's no point there's no point in leveling up at all it's meaningless do you know what i mean so like i went right back to the early part of the game and i was still struggling i was like what the fuck there's no point so i just thought Stop wasting your time. You had, but because I was ten hours in, apparently it's not the biggest RPG, so you can do it in twenty hours. I thought I'm halfway, let's say. Um, but I thought not. Stop playing it. There's better games in my collection to play. But again, I uh, this may make sense, may not. May when I watch it back, but I'm leaving it in there. This is an important game because something told me to not watch something else, and I haven't done it since. And I'm really falling back in love with the, the sound of video games as well, okay? So that was Star Ocean. Come on, let's go. Opportunity knock. <laughs> Just enjoying the fucking sunrise. It is about as perfect as it gets. The other game I played, I haven't uninstalled this one though, was Odin Sphere uh, for the PlayStation 4. I think this is a remaster or remake of a PlayStation 2 game. I'm not 100% sure. Visually, it's very impressive. It's got a very unique uh, art style and it's got a unique map system. So you, the map is like a circle, but it, it, on the circle, as you go across the circle turns, and it's hard to explain, it's like the doors leads, you can run around in circles basically, if you keep running to the right, you are going round in a circle, uh, if you haven't, it's really hard to explain without showing you, okay, um, so I, this kept me entertained for an afternoon, but I found another game that's I'm all in for this. The last game I'm going to talk about, I am all in on, okay? But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to go back to that. I'm very impressed with it. It was a bit of a blind buy. I had heard of it um, in the gaming community on YouTube. But uh, I thought, yeah, if I ever see it, I didn't. wasn't really paying attention. Probably because I was playing a video game whilst listening to this. So a YouTuber say how amazing this game is and it's stuck in there holding here, yeah, yeah, whatever. But I had no idea what it was. It's a hack and slash. So, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed what I played of that game, okay? Nice. Then I reinstalled uh, my Devil May Cry HD collection and I thought let's play Devil May Cry 3 and I just wasn't in the mood for it. I watched the opening cutscene, that was really cool. Uh, it's a, it is a really good game, I haven't ever finished it, it's quite a hard game, I, for me it's hard anyway. I remember all the Devil May Cry games, oh the second one's quite easy isn't it? I've never actually finished a Devil May Cry game, I just got bored of the second one but um 
yeah, it's really, really cool, really cool mechanics and, and everything like that. But I think I've uninstalled it. I think I needed a little bit more hard drive for the again the, the next game I'm gonna talk about. I my hard drive was pretty full, so I had to delete something and this had to go, but it doesn't take long to install this game. So I'm in the mood to play that again. It won't take me long to uh, install it. But yeah, I've uh, had a little bit of fun playing Devil May Cry 3. <laughs> oh, nice. And the main game, uh, I've but basically it's Yakuza like a dragon. Okay, so I played it very briefly before, but I wasn't really in the mood to get into it. I watched the opening cutscene. I thought, oh, this is interesting, very different, uh, in a weird way similar as well to the Yakuza uh, titles. I was a bit concerned about it being turn based because I really like the action and the flow of the Yakuza main games, the Zero to Yakuza 6. I prefer that, but you needn't worry, it's still really good fun, okay? I'm, I wanna say, still under 10 hours, but I've probably about between six and eight hours, I wanna say, into it so far. I have been enjoying leveling up as well, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying my playthrough of this. The story is, it's really, it's a lot going on. I'm not going to talk about the story, to give any spoilers. But you think, right, okay, the story's going to follow this person. Then it introduces you to this guy. Uh, and you really feel sorry for the guy. And it's like, ah, oh, fair play to him. He does something very honourable. Not a lot of people would have done it. And the way he gets treated 18 years later is disgusting. And you're like, what? And then it's not actually... Or maybe it's a spoiler, I'm not going to say any more, but if you're half a fan of the Yakuza main series, uh, I definitely recommend this game, okay? And just by chance, sorry, I've clicked off something, make sure I got it right. I had absolutely no idea that uh, Like a Dragon, Ishin, I-S-H-I-N, is out on the 21st of February. So maybe when this, by the time this video goes up, it'll be out. And I didn't. It's just weird timing that I suddenly decided to give this another go. And I'm all in on it. It is a bit strange. I've decided to go for English, okay, um, rather than the subtitles. So it's, it's dubbed. Uh, it is a bit weird, mind, playing a Yakuza game dubbed. But at first, but I'm used to it now. You know, I've got used to this guy will always have, uh, will always be an English speaking character. Where with the other games, if they were suddenly speaking English, it wouldn't, I think I'd be rather read what he's saying but um, and have him speaking in Japanese, if that makes any sense. Okay. But yeah, what a funny game. It's not just the, about combat, turn based combat. Uh, I've had a couple of other guys in my team as well. That's where maybe the turn-based has to work because you control more than one character. I hope you can... I've only had one other person in my team, but I'm hoping you can have like four, maybe five people in your team. That'll make this game a masterpiece in my opinion. But so far, I uh, so very, very, very good. Yeah. 
So I, what have I been watching then? I've been, because I've not been watching YouTube whilst gaming, I, you can argue I've watched a lot less. I've still watched quite a lot, okay? Um, I'll do my, I'm gonna do my YouTube um, video of the week, okay? I uh, think the last time I did this video, uh, maybe some people don't appreciate having a shout out, but um, I've watched a new, I found, not a new YouTube, I found a new channel, when I say new, they're new to me, um, I'll talk about that later, but um, yeah, I'm going to talk about my YouTube channel of the week, okay, it's coming back, baby. Uh, right, so, uh, what have I been watching? Uh, I'm back watching Bleach, I'm into season two, so I'm on episode, I think, 23 or 25, something like that, uh, I'm back, it's the thing with the Bleach, it's quite a simple story, okay, um, so I, I, I went like a couple of weeks without watching it, and then I could just get back into it, but what I've done, I've downloaded with, I think it's on Disney, isn't it, I've downloaded about seven or eight episodes, so I can watch, if I haven't got you, you um, YouTube, the internet, on my holiday, because I am going to be staying in a caravan, um, normally they have good internet, but I'm planning I'm getting ready for the haven't. So I've downloaded about seven or eight episodes so I can catch up on my uh, on my holidays, okay? But yeah, I'm back in on Bleach. I've watched, um, got into Sakura Wars. I'm not gonna do any um, clips as well uh, of any of the movies because I've had a copyright strike on a video I filmed today. I thought, what the fuck? I, they hadn't even been uploaded yet, so I had to take something out. And then I noticed then I've had a I haven't had an email or a message saying I've had one. And when I did my King Kong one, I think maybe that could cut because I did quite the long clip. So I'm just whenever it comes to movies, I'm not gonna do any uh footage, okay? Just so I don't wanna lose my channel, you know. Uh right, so uh, I've started watching this Sakura Wars. Um The game is cause I cause I watched played the game on the PlayStation 4, then watching this. The game is very faithful to the soundtrack and the visuals and the cutscenes are very similar to this. Um, I'm only on disc one. I don't know exactly how many um, episodes are in the series, but I'm impressed. It's not only Sakura is the only character that from the game, basically. And I think it's a prequel set before the... Um, before the game and it's still it's quite a lot of characters and we're they're still introducing all the characters but it's a stunning looking i really really like i think the 80s to 90s i think that's where anime peaked you know there's something about it the neon lights and stuff like that uh, visually it is, is my, that's my favorite thing on it so far it's quite slow though but um yeah i am i am enjoying it it's slow in a good way i want to say yeah, so if you ever see that out there, I've ne only ever once seen it. I'm so happy I picked it up, you know. Uh, yeah, Sacra Wars. I've also, I finished Poltergeist. God, I, I must have just finished. It's probably been two weeks since I watched it. So I watched all three of them now. And i got to be honest, it's probably if I was to rank them, it'd be the first one, then the second one, then the third one would probably be, oh, it's first. Second, third, I think that's the, th yeah, that's the third one there. It's weird, and they put the middle, normally go one, two, three, or I'd, I would anyway. But, um, yeah, so the third one is only got, uh, what's in it, Marianne, is it? The little girl's the only one from, it's very unrealistic, isn't it? So she's a little girl, and she just goes to live with her family in this massive skyscraper. I think it's in Chicago, and the whole skyscraper is a new modern, modern, kind of skyscraper and it's all the poltergeist is fucking because she's there is messing with the building you know it's worth a watch if you're a fan of the series but if you've never seen the first two yeah you'd be like well what's going on here there's a few funny things in it i really enjoyed the the professor guy was my favorite character he had in it a reason for everything even when he was seeing all the fucked up shit everybody has to be shitting themselves and even though ah He'd be, he'd be thinking of it logically, but the stuff coming out of his mouth is so shit. It's like horse shit what he's saying, but he's he plays it plays the part perfectly. Um, and the old creepy guy, 
uh, he must have unfortunately passed away this actor because uh, he is a creepy looking I don't mean it disrespectfully but then they've got the people in the third one are they wear masks and there's a scene where I think um, they're walking down a corridor and they're trying to be clever with these mirrors there's a lot of mirrors in this building and they're walking down this corridor and it's meant to be him popping his head out and then she goes past another door and there's another one popping his head out but they're all different heights so they couldn't even <coughs> they didn't think to have them all the same all the actors at the same say six foot you all got to be six foot to play this 10 second clip you know so it does spoil it a bit but um yeah it's quite a clever movie you know and the other film i've watched i haven't finished watching it it seems to go on forever and ever okay it's street fighter assassin's fist now i've watched it before i have watched it before but i've got i'm at the same problem i didn't finish watching it years ago they, i watched this when it first came out uh visually it's good like like a cool akuma lux and then you've got ryu and ken okay they're playing ken off as a bit of a dumbass um but like ryu I, visually they look great you know Ken's hair needs he needs a haircut. He's a little bit on the long side. You can tell it's a wig that he's wearing in in most of the scenes. Akuma when he turns into Akuma looks pretty much spot on. Fair play to them. And it's like the how they're learning how to do the Hadoukens and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. But if you don't like Street Fighter, uh, you probably wouldn't last twenty minutes. There's not many characters in it. There's like five main characters and they're like isolated so i suppose it's, it, it is canon i suppose so they're out in the wilds in japan ancient japan learning all the martial arts and stuff like that but um so it's a little bit of a tough watch if you're not a fan of street fighter okay uh what else have i got to talk about right then so this week's uh youtube video of the week uh the channel is matt otter pop okay i will tag the channel uh in the description so go we'll check it out um so it's matt matt m a w t all one word okay o t t e r p o p matt otter pop i'm just in a screenshot because i make sure that's right i don't want to give out the wrong information matt otter pop yes and he did a really good video i really enjoyed it um sorry i've pressed in the wrong buttons here my top 10 fighting games of all time i really enjoyed it it was a very well put together uh video uh it showed nothing but gameplay okay at first i thought it was going to some people do like videos and they don't do any commentary on it they do like a lot of my videos are just me talking in front of the camera with not much gameplay um that's the style i like and then i also like to do vid a video with commentary i'm not a fan of my top 10 and just text so at first i thought oh, it's another one of these but then he starts talking and so um i really enjoyed it very interesting i'm always curious um what other people's top 10 fighting games are and similar to me he had stories of when he first saw the game in the arcade like my generation we saw most fighting games that's probably where my love of fighting games well it did the love of fighting games came from the arcade scene it's something that the youth kids of today they don't experience yes there's arcades but they're, they're nothing compared to what they used to be you know um yes yeah, so go check out channel matt otter pop and the video is my top 10 fighting games of all time thoroughly enjoyed that good job really really good stuff and what have i been reading this week uh, I've hardly read anything because my eyes, I've, my, uh, okay, get the violins out. I've been <coughs> getting ready for work at like quarter to seven in the morning. And my eyes, as soon as I open my eyes, my eyes are burning. I've really struggled with work. But I've also, it takes a lot of energy, right? I've also tried to be as positive. I've had this persona all week. And I, I did enjoy it. I got it. It was, it was a bit fake at the start, but I, Positive Tony, I'm calling it in work, and uh, I do prefer positive Tony than tired Tony. <laughs> so uh, my eyes were burning. So by the time it's bedtime, I've 
trying to go to bed early but only by the end of the week as i came out of my, my dark depression um coming all the battles can you so i haven't read that much but uh i did read probably a week i haven't touched my book so it's a never-ending story i'm probably about the halfway point but it's the good stuff i fear all the good all of a uh, never-ending story the first one i've read pretty much and bastion is in the book world now and without spoiling it it's quite complicated as well uh it is called the the reason it's called the never ending story is explained in the book so a lot of people say oh the film ends it's called the never ending story in the book because there's a part where the story will never end the never ending story it's really hard to explain if you haven't read it you wouldn't understand but there's no better name for this book than the never ending story just putting that out there and i'm gonna take this book on holidays with me so if i can't get into it I got something. I got something else because I like to read just before I go to bed. So it's the Street Fighter uh, Three Ryu Final Volume One. Um, it's manga. So I bought this. I had this at a bargain. You can tell it's pre-owned. That yeah, the pages are a little bit yellowed. Maybe the seller had this stored. I used to do it. I uh, stored on his bookshelf and I or uh, on his windowsill somewhere where the sun there's normally the sun yellows the pages like that um but i paid a fraction of what that is on amazon and i mean a fraction so yeah i'm gonna enjoy that so that's what i've been up to training update i haven't been training because i've been really ill i did three runs the week before um but yeah hopefully hopefully i'll have a bit more of a training update this time next week when i get back from a holiday my running trainers uh, come in with me. I haven't packed anything yet, but uh, I plan to take them with me. Okay um, Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna finish the video there. I need to work on an outro <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to the end of these videos. Thank you very much for the kind positive messages Please consider hooking that subscribe button, but as always love you bye